channel. Today I'm going to be talking all about acne and first of all if you're someone that is dealing with acne let me just tell you that I 100% feel you, I understand, I get it because <sighs> I've been dealing with acne for quite some time now and if you are dealing with that right now just know that you are lovely and you know acne on your face does not take that away but I wanted to share because ever since I was about 18 years old I've been having really bad acne and acne would just get me so so down and you know in Nigeria we have this saying that all the aunties are always like fine girl no pimple listen all my aunties would be coming up to me like fine girl pimple man so acne was definitely my biggest insecurity i would get it all over my cheeks on my forehead so it's been eight months now since i started this clear skin journey right now my skin is not perfect by any means but i hardly ever get active pimples and right now i'm just dealing with a lot of hyperpigmentation and dark marks and just scarring from years and years of acne and picking at my skin so that's what i'll be working on next which is about clearing the dark marks so i just wanted to share with you guys what i've been doing differently since may and the things that i've done that have gotten me to how my skin is now versus how it was eight months ago <laughs> So the first thing that I have to talk about, which I think made the biggest difference to be honest, was me going and seeing a dermatologist as well as, you know, getting prescribed different products. So when I decided to get really serious about this, I was really praying for a solution and just something that would like kickstart this journey. So I ended up going on ZocDoc and finding a dermatologist and I was so happy because I was able to find a woman and also a woman of color, which to be honest just made me feel a lot more comfortable. I know that sometimes you can go to the doctors and it could be a very, you know, quick, quick thing, but I felt like she was really just like on my side trying to help me get the desired result. So she prescribed me one medication called Axon, which is what I use in the morning, and then another one called Epiduo Forte Gel, which is what I used at night. And within like a few days, I already saw a lot of my huge bumps like drying up and getting more flat. Honestly, I think that just going to a dermatologist and getting, you know, actual medication really, really changed the game for me because, you know, before I would just always go into CVS, I'd go into the drugstore and just kind of pick any product that to me looked good or was you know affordable <laughs> that was always what I was just looking for whatever advertised for acne I would get it but nothing was working for me at all so I'm going to be completely honest I used to be the absolute worst when it came to just having a skincare routine and taking care of my skin and one of the worst worst things that I would always do is fall asleep without taking off my makeup, which is really probably one of the worst things I feel like you can do when you're trying to clear your skin. Back in May, I made it a point to always take off my makeup before I slept. And one thing that really helped with that is me getting makeup wipes that I would keep like in my room and close by. Even on the days where I didn't feel like taking off my makeup or feel like washing my face, I would just use the makeup wipe. And after I did that, to be honest, it kind of just made me want to go and wash my face. And I feel like it's kind of just a common knowledge now that sleeping with your makeup is like a no-go. I feel like that could be a no-brainer for some people who are not as lazy as me in that aspect, but for me that was like a really big change, just making sure that my makeup always, always, always came off. So before I got serious about clearing my skin, I feel like I tried everything on my face. Like I was doing so much. I had so many steps to my skincare routine. My brown face would be turning red because I was just doing the absolute most. So, you know, I just realized that there is no need. So in the mornings, what I'll do is just go and wash my face with a gentle skin cleanser. And then when my face is dry, I'll put on my Axone medication. And then after that, I'll put on a facial moisturizer from CeraVe or Cetaphil. And then I'll also use sunscreen. And I do the same thing at night, except I might also use a makeup remover. And instead of my morning medication, I'll use the nighttime one. And I really thought that I had to do the most in order to get like the most results. But I feel like just having a very basic, basic skincare routine really just did wonders for my skin. I have friends.
friends suggest to me that you know I should reduce wearing makeup that that would really help but I just like brushed that all the way off because I'm like no there's there's no way I'm leaving my house with all of this on my face like there's just no way and you know I didn't realize that that wearing makeup seven days a week was really just was actually not helping my skin at all it was making me feel like a tiny bit better for being out in the public but when it came to improving my skin like it really wasn't helping so it was a very scary and a very big moment for me when I stopped wearing makeup every single day because honestly that was what I was used to even though my skin was not doing good I just said you know what let me just try this and you know people stare at my skin people stare at my skin you know I think like one day a week I just didn't wear makeup and then I felt fine and then the next day I didn't wear makeup and then it got to the point where now I actually don't wear makeup to work most of the time. On the regular I really don't wear makeup and that's five days out of my week so I really just end up wearing makeup on the weekends or if I'm doing something. <laughs> to see my dermatologist she mentioned that a lot of people do note changes in their skin for the better when they cut out dairy because you know dairy can sometimes cause acne as well as sugar you know and I had heard this before my sister um, who had been vegan for about 10 years mentioned to me about you know considering removing some dairy from my diet all I did was really just reduce my my sugar and my dairy intake I kind of stopped buying dairy for the most part for a very long time I didn't have any cheese or eggs and I already don't drink milk and I found that you know when I wasn't buying these groceries for myself the only time I was really eating it is if I was out which was kind of like once in a blue moon I guess just being more cautious and more cognizant about eating those things was very helpful for me so I used to have such a bad habit of always popping pimples as soon as I would see them and Needless to say, now that I've cleared my acne, I'm left with so many um, dark marks. I stopped popping pimples, and along with that, I also just stopped um, like mindlessly touching my hands to my skin. I made it a point to really not touch my face with dirty hands. Even in the morning when I go to do my whole skincare routine, I always will wash my hands first so that no germs are like being transferred onto my skin. Anytime I get um, just a pimple, I'll just kind of let it, let it do its thing, leave it alone and I know that within like five days it'll be gone. So I really just tried to stop touching my skin and just stop popping my pimples and just kind of leaving my skin alone. <laughs> So I'm sure you've heard mixed things with apple cider vinegar, but for me, I had done a lot of research and seen how apple cider vinegar um, helps with killing bacteria and just cleansing. And it's known for helping with a lot of things, whether it's like weight or digestive issues or acne. So I already had apple cider vinegar in my cabinets. I just decided to drink it more regularly. I feel like it was something that I added to my diet and was consistently drinking throughout this whole journey. So I'm definitely an apple cider proponent, so I just wanted to throw it in there. So I have two more things that I want to touch on and the first is about washing makeup brushes periodically. I'm doing it so much more than I've done in the past and I always feel so much better knowing that my makeup brushes have been recently washed and that germs aren't kind of like leaving in the same brushes that I'm going to reapply on my face. <laughs> It, you know we sleep on these pillowcases day to day and you know our skin is rubbing around our hair is on it so I wasn't washing my pillowcases as frequently as I needed to when I'm trying to clear my skin if you can avoid germs getting on your skin that makes a really big difference so I just made it a point that I was washing my pillowcases frequently because if my skin was going to touch that every single night then it needed to be it needed to be clean so guys those are the things that i incorporated in this skincare journey i hope that this video was helpful to you in any sort of way and one thing i did forget to mention is really just consistency like in whatever journey that you do consistency makes a really big difference when you want to see results and for me i think that that's something that i i struggled with because to be honest i I was never really a consistent type of person with like all aspects of my life and this is the first thing that I really just stuck to. When my dermatologist said we're going to do this for 12 weeks, that's three months, that seemed really really long to me. Honestly it's been eight months now since then and 
I'm, I'm just so happy that this has been something that I've been able to stick to but I just took it like day at a time if I did any of these things just once like I, I don't think I would have seen the results the way that I did and once again if you are struggling with acne please just remember that you know that doesn't that doesn't define you that doesn't make you who you are you are still lovely and beautiful and you are still you so yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed this video thank you again so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe like leave me a comment and all that good stuff and I will see you guys in the next one